Number one, Jet Pace, owned by prominent Canadian horseman Harry Locke and trainer Richard Gillick. He is driven by Hall of Famer John Campbell. Jet Pace is a New Jersey Sire Stakes winner. Number two, Rocket RC. Bred, owned and trained by Nick Callahan of Cordova, Maryland. This half-brother to Dover Downs track champion Roman Noble will be driven by the Delaware Valley's all-time leading driver, Eddie Davis. Rocket RC's progress pace elimination win was his sixth and eight lifetime starts. Three, JFK, leased by Guida Racing Stable, trained by Brett Pelling. Ron Pierce will drive this impeccably bred stakes-winning son of Dragon's Lair from the great Philly pacer, Miss Easy. Number four, CJ's Fantasy, a homebred, owned and trained by Roy Williams. Jim King Jr. is driver of this late-blooming stakes winner. The five is Armbro Operative. Owners Tom Walsh and Dave McDuffie, who also own 1994 Little Brown Jug winner Magical Mike. Armbro Operative has been one of the top three-year-olds of the year. Trained by Brett Pelling, his driver is 1996 Hall of Famer inductee Mike Lachance, who drove Armbro Operative both wins in the Cadillac Breeder Crown and Little Brown Jug. The six in the paint, owned by Scott Alberg, trained by Tom Fanning. He is driven by 1995 Harness Tracks of America Driver of the Year, Luke Willette. In the paint, in the paint won the Dollar Series early in the season at the Meadowlands, then an elimination division of the Motor City Pace. Seven Paradise Indian, co-owned by trainer Dennis Cummings, Paula Cummings, and Richard Corey. Overlooked by betters, Cat Manzi drove him to a progress pace elimination victory in 154-1 track record time for a three-year-old pacer. Paradise Indian is a New York Sire Stakes champion. Completing the field, eight Electric Yankee, owned by the Charles Keller family and Dan Biddle of Maryland. He is trained by Brett Biddle. Peter Wren is his driver. Electric Yankee won the Adios and the Dancer Memorial among major stakes. Just four minutes until post time. Starting gate moving. Three-year-old Colt Pacers behind the gate approaching the start in the $100,000 progress pace. They're off. There goes Armbro Operative out with Paradise Indian for the lead between those two in the paint. Jet Pace rushing through at the rail. It's two back to Rocket RC who gets away in fifth on the outside Electric Yankee looking for a spot. Then it's JFK, the early trailer on that first turn, uh, CJ's Fantasy. They speed over the quarter. Armbro Operative leads the way in the paint, wants to drop in there, second in front of Jet Pace, but that hole is closed by Campbell, 26 and four. They charge past the stands with Armbro Operative out there. In the paint is caught outside. Perfect trip for Jet Pace, two back to Rocket RC. Also left outside the whole way, Paradise Indian. JFK is inside, Electric Yankee will have to go around Paradise Indian. The trailer is CJ's Fantasy. They move over toward the half. Armbro Operative leads it by a half length. In the paint begins the fade. Jet Pace is at the rail. Then it's Paradise Indian in fourth with the rail awaiting some kind of room. Is Rocket RC. 55 and 2. They hit the back side. Armbro Operative now has to deal with Paradise Indian, who's up on the outside. Jet Pace has the rail third, beginning to fade in the paint. Three wide electric Yankee. And then it's Rocket RC, followed by CJ's Fantasy, and JFK at the rail. 
three quarters in 124. Armbro Operative now opens up by about two and a half lengths. Jet Pace moves through. Paradise Indian is still out there. Then at the rail, Rocket RC, force three wide, is JFK. They're at the top of the stretch. Armbro Operative and Mike Lachance, they're still on top. Jet Pace moves to the outside. They drive for the wire. Armbro Operative, Rocket RC down the inside. But Armbro Operative goes wire to wire. Armbro Operative in front. Up for second, Jet Pace, a fast closing third was JFK in 153 flat.